Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to change your Ubuntu's boot screen if you're bored of this. And this is how your boot screen will look like if you choose this. You saw that? Pretty cool, huh? You can have that on your computer if you just follow this video simply. And if you're bored of the Ubuntu boot screen, just to let you know, it's run by a, uh, some kernel in the computer, I don't know. It's called Plymouth. Basically, you can uh, customize it and make it different instead of the boring Ubuntu boot screen. I'm not saying it's ugly, but if you're bored of this, I can help you change it. So um, po go to this link, which I, which I will post in the description. Once you arrive at this page, you'll notice this this and there's about three boot screens you can change now it, uh, there's only three you notice but there's more which I will show earlier on how to install extra Plymouth themes um, in the synaptic package manager so keep watching so you won't have any problems so um, just choose any boot screen you want I suggest this one because it's 10.10 .10, which is the newest version that's out so I'm um, go ahead and click on that one I'm gonna click on it and once you load the page just go ahead and scroll down until you see Plymouth theme pack here uh, I suggest downloading it, of course, so click on here. Um, a window should pop up asking where to save it. I'm saving it to my desktop. So um, I'll be back once this download is done. Alright, the download is almost done, so we just give it about one second. So after your download is done, you should get something like this on your desktop. Basically, what you want to do with it is right-click on it and click on Extract here. Um, you'll notice in the website link, when the one you clicked on, there's instructions. Don't bother that because some of it won't work, which I will be helping you out here. There's a readme with it, by the way. So once you extract it, there's a folder. Just double-click it, and you should have this open. Now you'll notice there's four files. Read it carefully. There's 10.04 English zip file. There's 10.10 .10 English. If you have 10.10, .10, get that or that. By the way, this will work with 32-bit and 64-bit. So when you see the 10.10, .10, which everybody has, click on Open with Archive Manager. Once you right click on it, this window should pop up. Click on Extract and extract it to your desktop. And yeah, your desktop. Click on Extract. Once it's done, just click on Close, Close, and you should have a little something like this on your desktop. Um, after you have it on your desktop, um, you'll see two readmes here. There's 10.04 and 10.10 .10 readme. Since you have 10.10 .10 like me, double click on the 10.10 .10 readme. This window should pop up. Uh, it says English install. Just go ahead and scroll down. Open up a terminal located in accessories and then terminal. After you have it open, you'll notice CD desktop. Just copy this as I just did and paste it in the terminal. Press enter. It'll go like that. After that's done, you'll see sudo scp, this one right here. Copy this first line, paste it, and it'll ask for your password. Of course, type in your password. After that's done, copy the next line, but like this. There we go. Make sure to do it like that, because um, if you just do the first line, it won't work out, because it's pretty much a long line. And yeah, just do what I just did. And then paste, and enter. After that's done, copy this last line. Make sure to go like this don't copy the rest of this just right click copy and then paste now you only notice the three files like on the website the three boot screens that are there you see that just the three and they are all in here just follow the order here so the first one if you open up the terminal the first one is the sunrise the second one is the boot screen we downloaded but it but it doesn't matter because it comes with all of them and then the third one is the orange one here so choose either one. So what you just want to do is press the number that you want here. I have a solar, which is the one I showed. Um, there's zero, one, and three. So the first, the zero is the boot screen of the the first one, the sunrise. Sorry about that. And then one and two. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just choose whatever number here, and press one. Uh, either number, like I said. Alright, after you chose the number here, 
um, just copy the last line in here after you choose the number and then paste it in here and after you paste it it should say uh, generating boot blah 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 no support and it should load something a little something like that then restart your computer and you should have it now um, I just showed earlier that when you do this you only have three but I can show you how to get extra ones so basically open up the synaptic package manager located in system administration the synaptic package manager then type in your password again after that's done this window should pop up after you have the synaptic package manager open at the search button right here click on that and type there Plymouth theme dash theme dash theme I forgot to mention that and you should get all the Plymouth themes so if you want the the solar which was the star that's exploding check mark the search for Plymouth theme dash solar and you should get something like that so um that's pretty much it um there's a couple of others here if you click on it and then you can read it what it tells about it you can get a screenshot but unfortunately the screenshot doesn't really work out well enough it always shows a no sign there but yeah if you want the solar go ahead and there's a couple of others and you know do the same process like I showed earlier you don't have to do these these here after you're already done with those and you already chose your your uh, boot screen copy this line all the time if you want to change your boot screen open up a terminal and then paste it type in your password and then choose a number let's say number two for solar if you have to read this carefully by the way in order to have the right one press enter she gets something like that and then copy the last line in the readme file and paste it says generating boot slash blah 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 you should wait a couple of minutes or possibly seconds something like that will pop up and it will show it like this there we go that means it's done restart computer and you should have the same thing I showed earlier so um, watch this video carefully um, message me if you have any problems because it may be a bit complicated I hope I showed it good enough to you guys and if you I forgot to mention that if you don't know what kind of boot screen you have open up the terminal again then paste in sudo plymouth d enter and then type in your password then paste the next line there we go paste and enter a window should pop up but unfortunately it does not work for me but if it does for you good for you and yeah that's how you change your boot screen on Ubuntu so I hope you guys all enjoy it and have a great time